Hey guys, Jason the Train Freak here, and welcome to episode 2 of Rail Yard Tag In. This is a variety show for model railroaders by model railroaders. Last week I asked a question if you like to watch trains running around your layout, if you like to operate them by picking up and dropping off cars, doing your, you know some type of yard classification or something, or if you like doing a combination of both. And the results out of 43 votes is that a majority of you like to do both. And there are some that like to do either only rail fan or either only do operations. Otter Creek Railroad loves having his trains run while he tinkers on his workbench and operates to give it a purpose while Cowboy Steve loves rail fanning as it satisfies his needs of a train up and running while he is building his dream layout, but also looking forward to being able to do operations later on. Now, before we go to today's question of the week, let's see what everyone's been working on.
one is doing an amazing job either running trains on their layouts or just the modeling in general. That was a lot of great photos out there. But hey, if you want to join in on the fun, look in the description below. There is a link where you can join my YouTube uh, Facebook group. It is called The Train Freak on YouTube, and it's on Facebook. It is free to join. And if you're not on Facebook, uh, we can set up something and maybe you can send your photos in an email because not everybody does Facebook. But it is a great place just to join in on the fun and share just with everyone what you're doing and, you know, just that, that camaraderie uh, between fellow model railroaders. So what can you share? Well, you can share your layout, even if it's just in the, the beginning of construction. You can share, you know, what you're doing on your workbench. You can share the finer details on your layout. It doesn't matter what scale you are, the era, you know, if you are um, the location, whether it's America, Australia, the UK, or any other country, it's all fine. Uh, your skill level doesn't matter, and any picture of what you're working on, it's going to work. And so we would love for you to take part of it. All right, so if you like what you see so far in Rail Yard Tagging, make sure you smash that like button. That really helps with the algorithm, and it's going to get this channel and this these episodes out to people that are not even aware of our YouTube community. And then also consider, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and filling in the bell so that way you will be notified when the next episode of Rail Yard Tagging comes out. Okay, so now on to today's question of the week. And this is a real easy one. What scale do you primarily model in? Now, I know there's some of you that do multiple scales, and so I'm not asking for what all scales you model in. Which one is your primary model? And you can find that poll over on my community uh, community page. And then, you, if you want to, go ahead and comment why. And your comment could be shared on the next episode of Rail Yard Tagging. Okay, so with that being said, this is going to go ahead and conclude this episode of Rail Yard Tagging. I appreciate all of you coming out and having fun and checking us out. And like I said, I would like to encourage you to go join the group or send me an email if you would like your photos, uh, you know, posted on a future episode. And other than that, y'all be safe out there. God bless and happy railroading. Thank you.